Hey girls, it's Corey, your Saturday girl on Makeup Glam Girl. As you see, our theme this week is tips for spring break. So I decided to do a, like, what you should put in your makeup bag for spring break. I know everyone's spring break is like different weeks and different dates and stuff. And a lot of people go different places, maybe to Mexico or Las Vegas or anywhere else beachy or I don't know. But, um... I figured I would do a makeup bag for just general and then I, I'll say a couple things um, specifically. Most of the stuff is going to be, the general is going to be what you should take to the beach or to spring break, somewhere tropical, and then I will add on a few things for like if you're going to Las Vegas or somewhere where you're going to put on more makeup and such. So here's my makeup bag, one of many. I'll just start pulling stuff out. First of all, you're gonna need foundation. Obviously, you're gonna need some concealer. You never know when you're gonna break out. Bronzer, give you that glow all day long. Any kind of blush, obviously mascara. And it's good to have like a smaller size one if you have it, um, just to cut down on size and space. I just brought two, well, Three makeup brushes total. This one's for my blush and bronzer. This is like a big one for my eyeshadow. And this is my blending brush. You can bring more, but this is all I really use daily anyway. This is a kabuki brush to wipe off fallout if you need to. It's always good to have. You can bring an eyeliner. It always spruces up your eyes um, if you don't want to do a super dramatic eye look with eyeshadow. You can do like a cat eye with eyeliner and it's easy to bring. A neutral lip gloss, a lip balm, this is my EOS in passion fruit I believe. This is my um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk for my waterline. I think that's ideal. Eyeshadow primer, obviously. It's good to bring like one palette if you have it. One neutral palette would be good. Um, the Naked palette is ideal for really any place that you go because you can do you can do really, really light neutral eyes or you can do a smoky eye if you're in Las Vegas. Yeah. The Naked palette, there are some really good drugstore palettes. I showed one in my giveaway. Um, just go to the drugstore or Target and they have lots of neutral palettes. Just pick up any palette that you think that you'll wear most of the colors. And, you know, they're about this big instead of bringing all kinds of eyeshadows and stuff. That will cut down on space, too. Here's actually one of the neutral palettes I have. It's the brand Jane. I have I got this a while ago from Target. And then bring a perfume. This is just a little one. Uh, you can bring a bigger one. It's up to you. Obviously bring deodorant. I didn't grab it, but... That would be bad to forget. These are just because eyebrows decide to grow in all the time. Who knows when they decide to. For like face wash and stuff, I got these from Clinique. So they're like little ones. This is my lotion, this is toner, and face wash. So this is this is always good to have like smaller versions of whatever you use for your face. They have these at Target. Um, this is like a St. Ives mini face wash. So that's a good alternative. Makeup remover. Don't forget makeup remover. So this one was from Target also. This was the, I think it's the Target brand. And then also these are from e.l.f. This would be good to bring just their eye remover makeup pads. So you just wipe it off. So, you know, either of these or both. If you bring this, you need some Q-tips. And then if you're going to a beachy place, bring sunscreen. Don't forget to bring something to pull your hair back when you're doing your makeup or washing your face or even going to the pool. Band-aids. Never know when something will happen. And then last, but certainly not least, I like to bring a bright lip color. Um, this is my Wonder Woman color. But you can get all kinds of drugstore products. And here's the eyeliner. It's always good to have an eyeliner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. Similar colors. You can wear it all night. 
this would obviously be for like somewhere like Las Vegas or something like that, maybe New York. I don't know where people are going for swimming. But where I went is Vegas in the past couple of years. So yeah, Bright Lip is always a good way to dress up your outfit if you don't want to do lots with your the rest of your makeup. This is always good to have um, a setting spray for your face. And I guess that's about it. That is just like makeup stuff that you need to bring. I could go into depth about all kinds of other stuff like hair, but I decided to just do makeup. And I'm gonna show you. This is most of that stuff that I showed you. And then I have this other bag. And you can put it, fit the bigger things in here. Obviously it would fit better if I fixed it, but so I've got two makeup bags worth, but this is more, um, this is like my face wash and stuff. This is the makeup cover, the naked palette, which I can probably fit in here too, if I maneuvered everything correctly. There we go. It's really good to bring minimal amounts of stuff on spring break. So when you're doing your makeup, you're not like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Just if you have one palette, you will more easily get your makeup done than if you brought your whole makeup bag with all your eyeshadows, etc. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below or message me. I hope that was helpful and you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a fun and safe spring break and I will see you guys next Saturday.